Hello and welcome to the highlights of match 19 of the HBL PSL season 9. It's Karachi Kings, the home side, playing against Multan Sultans, the table toppers. Let's have a quick look at the standings at this stage. Multan Sultans right up there with 10 points. Karachi Kings trying to get there in the top four. They have played five games and have got four points to their name. At the toss, it was Mohammad Rizwan who called it right and he decided they'll bat first. A quick look at the two 11s. Karachi Kings making two changes. Deploy once again comes into the side and so does Mir Hamza after a brief illness. Multan Sultans also making a couple of changes. David Billy and Chris Jordan having his first outing. Let's join the action as the two openers, Riza Hendricks and Mohamed Rizwan, come out to bat. Left arm of Mir Hamza. Left arm Done well in the tournament. He's been good to watch too. As have many. Watch them operate in this power play. You have to be really good against Multan Sultans because their top order has been in top form. About to start, but this is a huge game for Karachi Kings. Nicely bowled. It's nicely played as well. Well, I'll, te I'll tell you what. This outfield, you look at it, when you walk out there, it feels lush. But it's also quite hard. Shot. It was aerial for a bit. But caress through the covers. Hendricks with a four to start. The ball wasn't there. The, it, it wasn't a half volley. He just sort of leaning into it. He, he knew that it was going to go in the air. He didn't really hold back. He said, I'm just going to go. Oh, dear. Oh, no, you don't need that as a bowler. Misfield and away for four more. Cut away and gone. Finds third man. Mir Hamza makes no mistake. And there's that bounce from Blessing. He was the only one who was carrying somewhere around the chest height. Yeah, bounce did the job. He wanted to go maybe a little bit squarer. Yeah, Blessings really, really pumped up and they needed, they, they, they deserve a wicket, I would say. 16 for one. Shot is forced that away. A wonderful adjustment in the shot because may well have been looking straight, trying to charge the bowler. Well, once he's got that side screen adjusted, he said, OK, let's take out that sweep shot to deep square. Cut away. That's a fantastic shot by Usman Khan. Four runs. He's slightly outside off. He's always staying leg side of the ball. So once there's a little bit of width, it actually gets exaggerated. Cut away. Nobody out there. And away for four more. In the gap. Away for four. Peppering that offside, Osman Khan. That's four as well. Can't be out there. Easy pickings for Usman Khan. Doesn't even have to thump that. Got away. You give width, and that's what happens. 50 up for Multan Sultans. That's the end of the power play. We're banged into the surface, but it's width. Usman, a very strong. Plays it late and plays it over that vacant. Offside field. Now with the pace on the ball, 
Hassan Ali's over goes for four. Power play, it's 50 for one. Yeah, charge given and a good connection as well. It's our first, is it? So's the middle of this one. <laughs> oh, Danny, you loved that one, didn't you? Right out of the screws. And has broken the six counter as well. And you'd expect while Usman Khan Zaysikandar, you mentioned his striker in the HBL PSL 196. Oh, he fancies that shot, doesn't he? What a beautifully timed shot, up and over, inside out for four. It's a little league side, as we know. He showed a glimpse of that against Zahid. With that pocket, lovely hands, and just the timing. And put it right where he wanted to. Oh, he's had a goal, he has a massive goal. And the outcome, well, it's a huge maximum. And again, that is absolutely magnificent, probably the biggest tonight so far. Guess what, what is the spin and from Usman again. To work out that he was going to run down because he leaves really late. You might have seen it in that picture right there. That as he's right up at the top and about to let go, that's when he chips down. Zipping away for four bits. Half century for Rizwan that brings up the 150 as well for Multan. Now they've hit uh, four of them to the uh, boundary and over. 16 fours, but it was uh, some time ago. It took a while. The tenth over it, their first six. slow under the surface and just a little bit more of a gap there there's four just like that I thought it was going to be cut off so did Mir Hamza not to be and that really shows the state of mind the Karachi team is in at, the sta at this stage oh it is the miss hit given, Faisal's given the finger, the index one that is, to Mohamed Rizwan who has to trudge off, bottom of the back. These two have put on and, and just a little miscue, wanted to go on the onside, smartly bowled by Mazarabani, bowled wide outside the off stump and uh, nicely taken by the skipper. It might have come a little late, but can they just pull things back, 164 for two. Oh, clubbed. Oh, not enough. Gone, is it? A little juggle. Just to uh, stir up his mates and wind them up. Yeah, no issue there. That's a very clear uh, catch. Big boundary on that side. A little fumble. Pouched it nicely. If the... Gone, that's a big wicket at this stage because he can be really dangerous. 171 for three. He put all that bad weather. Here we go. Oh, take it over the line. And a salute for Usman Khan with three figures. His second century in HPL PSL, the seventh century at this venue, and the first Multan player to do so at Karachi National. Take a bow, Usman K. And shimmy. Wonderful wrist work and hands. Oh, too easy. Another one. But Khan is 10th. Last ball of the innings from uh, Mir Hamza. Oh, he moved across. Shouldn't be. No, I agree. Good call from uh, Faisal Afridi. He did move across. And he just missed leg stump, so we've had the 20 overs bowl. Multan Sultans have posted 189, given that the toss went the way of the skipper 
Mohamed Rizwan and he wanted to go up front with blades first. So at the end of 20, it was Multan Sultans who put up 189 runs and Usman Khan gets his first 100 of the season and second overall in HBL PSL, 106 of 59. He was the one who led the way and helped the side post that big total. Along with him, he had a big partnership with his captain Rizwan who got a 58. Two wickets for Muzar Rabbani, two for 32, the most economical and a wicket for Hassan Ali. That's the maximum that Karachi Kings could extract in their 20 overs when they were bowling. So the target 190 in the 120 balls to win. Let's join the action as Karachi Kings come out with the chase. Action continues at the National Bank Cricket Stadium. Third game here, third game for the home side in Karachi, of course, and they'll want to get on winning ways. They need to chase down 190. Sean Masood versus David Willey. And if you're one for matchups, Willey's gotten him four times in all T20s. Oh, brilliant first up delivery. Just the angle into the left hander. That's better from Sean. Lakram has overran that and Shan Masood will take that boundary quite gleefully. One over done is six for no loss. He'll have to rush, he'll have to rush, that it will be very, very close. Surely this has to go up and you just feel Seifert was short. Running through, thank you, I'm ready to make my decision for the big screen. Dreaded three letters for Tim Seifert. Did put in a horizontal dive but was short. Just the one tonight, Karachi, six for one. Swings and gets it away. It was in the block hole and eventually reaches the ropes. Ahmed Ali, game of inches. And if you blow it with that front foot, buddy, this is what can happen in a way. Fortunate only went for four. That will do. That has just cleared the infield. And also picks up four. Wins away with the boundary. Yeah, just width. That was what we've just been chatting about. You can't give batters width inside the first six overs, and certainly not to James Vince. That's a nice shot. And Sean Masood ends it with the boundary. Willie goes for 11. It's 26 for one. That is nice. Big appeal from the keeper and given. Chris Jordan, while well, he draws first blood right into this one. Beautiful length, enticing, and that lovely sound if you're the bowler. Absolutely no need to turn around. No need for the appeal either. Yeah, away goes James Vince. It's 28 for two. Call for two might not require it. Because with the pace, the timing into the leg side. And Jordan picks up a wicket but still goes for 10. Four down is 36 for two. That is brilliant. That is some shot from Sean Masood. Oh, he's back. But he's gone for four. The Sean Masood turns the corner and bats and bats and bats. and gets a, a score of substance to get to 190. Feel good? Oh, finger licking good. Oh, lovely. Did get some hand on it to... Maybe take a little bit of pace off the ball, but not enough from the fielder. Yeah, just into position and right out the middle of the bat. Importantly, sufficiently in front to beat point. Nicely played, beautifully played. He's waited for it nicely. 
And because it was a bit of an arm ball, there was enough pace to back cut it away. It's not really spinning, it's not real venom in this pitch. Oh, got him! Poor choice of shot, it's too full for the slog sweep. But Osama Mir yet again in the wickets. Sean Masood goes. Line hitting uh, Osama, who's in absolutely good form. A little bit of spin, but the shot was not on. He's just literally chucked it away. And this man is in form. He's uh, among the wickets. He's, he's the highest wicket taker now. Masood gone for 36, 75 for three. Four bits to go with the Jazz fan pulse. Oh, they're loving it. Crowd has uh, turned up a bit more in numbers here on Super Sunday. And uh, Shoab Mullet right on cue with another little extra cover drive. Get him! Yeah, he comes down the wicket. That's the best way, but not this time in terms of distance. Jordan is right there. For a moment, he thought he had enough on it, but no. Big boundaries. He's just got too close to it. The ball went on with the arm inside half off the bat. And he knows straight away. He sees the fielder well. Never does he drop any. That is Chris Jordan. And that's easy for him. Coach Dale with a big wicket. Multan Sultans now in front. Trev Malik, 38 of 28. Karachi Kings, 89 for four. Uh-oh. To the man we've just been talking about, it's the captain, Mohamed Rizwan, in the thick of it, and it's another nail in the Karachi coffin. Soft dismissal. Just a nothing shot. Couldn't clear Rizwan, made it straight to him. And that is exactly how it's happening for Multan. Duploy goes for 12. And Karachi, 99 for five. Another game where Karachi King haven't quite found their mojo. Well, Niazi has one through the offside. Something's just got to keep giving. You might as well be trying to play some good cricket strokes. Try and slog and do anything stupid. But, yeah, play sensibly. Use the crease. Niazi will uh, take the chance, he's hit that flat, maximum to his name, six more to the total. Hit it extremely hard, he's fished it from outside off and hit it over mid-wicket flat and all the way. Oh, more runs here, he's got enough on it or not. Oh, that's gone through, big over this for Karachi Kings. They get 16 of it, attacking the youngster, 115 for five. Well, the emerging player is uh, feeling a bit of pain here. And David Willey is normally such a good fielder. And he doesn't get there with the slide. Says it all, really. With some of the ground feeling from both sides. Oh, something. Something is walked off. Is walked on his own. There certainly was a sound. Another one gone. That's uh, Bultan Sultan once again getting a little glove on the way, little steep bounce. That delivery has not been used much and uh, done really well by Willie. Ball short and got the glove and. Uh, and now Karachi losing their sixth wicket for 124. I see done. Hassan Ali gets it away for four. 134 oh. for six. It's a length. He had the length to play that short. Although there was no real pace on the delivery. This, this pitch has played really well. Gone for it. And six. Just enough on it. 
from Nawaz. Nawaz in, in not a, the greatest of the touch, but if you give him that length, that means he will hit you out of the park. Really well played. Opened the face of the blade and struck it. 1-5-1 for six now, the 150. Much to do, but you never know in terms of net run rate. Oh, hello! And goodbye, it's gone for six. That made a cracking sound off the bat. 158 for six. Yeah. Pumped him. The six. He bowled a slow delivery. Way too short given uh, Hassan Ali. Plenty of time to get under it. Long side, bigger boundary. So not a six, but it's across the ropes. And it'll go for four. There's another chance. Take this one. Yeah, this time takes it. Yep. Yeah, and celebration for Muhammad Ali. Celebration for the Sultans. It went flat and it went straight at him. That's the good thing about it and, and a good technique. You know, fingers up, controlled it nicely. And Muhammad Ali again amongst the wickets. Seven gone for 165. Shot. Nicely done. Away for four. They're not going to have the fun at my expense, he says. This one's done. It's dusted. And the Multan Sultans once again are victorious distance between them and the Karachi Kings a win by 20 runs it's a big victory big also because it is significant the first team in the tournament to qualify for the playoffs yeah they had few starts they had a uh, few partnerships but not enough uh, Nawaz who uh, batted quite nicely for 27 of 17 but the game was done by then. It was good partnership up front with uh, Chan Masood and uh, Shwe Malik. Things were looking good at that stage, but uh, once they lost uh, their skipper, things started going downhill after that. Well, look at the bowling figures. And by and large, these bowling figures of the Multan Sultans through all their games have been very good. Nothing different today. Two for 29 for Samamir. One for 16 for Kushdil. Excellent work done. And as a group, they've been potent and particularly efficient. Yep, done and dusted. Here's the summary of this one then. Match number 19, 189 for three. The Multan Sultans have won the toss and decided to bat first. A quite fantastic century for Usman Khan. 106 not out from 59. And he follows up a 96 where he played well for the Multan Sultans again. Karachi Kings not quite at it. 169 for seven. And it's the bowling really that holds sway. So the Multan Sultans by 20 runs. They go further and further away. Multan Sultans. And importantly, the Q is alongside their name on the left hand side. Everybody else vying for a spot in the playoffs and would love to see themselves have that cue too.